What's the best way to learn competition math? Competition math is a great way to better understand and apply math in real life. You may need to pay a lot of money to learn competition math, or you can learn it totally for free. We can show you the best way to learn and prepare for math competitions. Before we start, you should have already watched all our videos about fundamental math concepts and techniques. Now, let's start. The big difference between competition math and what you learn from schools is it requires deep thinking and thinking in different ways. Let's have an example. How to calculate 3 plus 6 plus 8. This is an easy calculation. The result is 17. This math you can learn from schools. How about 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 until plus 997 plus 998 plus 999 plus 1000? This looks like not quite the math you learn from schools. What do you think about it? You can assume the result is x. Then you can do some conversions and figure out a better way than the traditional way. In fact, this method was invented by Gauss, a famous mathematician, at a very young age. This is also called the Gauss summation. If you know the method, it's very easy to solve the problem. In competition math, you need to think creatively about the best way to solve a math problem. You need to do lots of practice to develop the skills to think creatively. But where can you find the best practice questions and solutions? There are lots of expensive books and courses where you can find those resources. However, what we recommend here is a free resource that you can find on a very authoritative website, University of Waterloo. The link to the university website is the description below this video. You can find all the past contests and solutions here and can use them totally for free. It may take some time to review all the past contests, but it is worth the time. Next, we will go through each question and explain in detail about the most recent contest for grade 7. There are 25 questions in total, and we will quickly go through all the questions. You can stop the video, read the questions first, and think about your own answer. Then, look at our recommended solutions. Part A, Easy Questions. 1. This is simple math. The answer is 12. 2. This is a simple graph. The answer is Friday. 3. This is a simple multiplication. The answer is 66. 4. This is a simple subtraction. The answer is 8. 5. This question requires some thinking. Only 36 is a perfect square, so it's the answer. 6. You can assume x equals sp, then 3x plus 16 equals 40. So, x equals 8. 7. If you know the divisibility rules, you know 52 is not divisible by 5, 7, 3, or 6. So, C is the answer. 8. The longest line segment in a circle is its diameter, so the answer is 8. 9. This is a simple probability. 5 even numbers, and the total number is 10. So, the answer is 5 tenths. 10. This is a straightforward calculation. The total cost before tax is 15. 5% tax is 0 0.75. So, the answer is 15.75. Part B, medium questions. 11. The angle, ACB, is the supplementary angle of, ACD, so angle, ACB, equals 105. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. So angle, B, is 180 minus 35 minus 105 equals 40. 12. This is testing your counting skill. There are 72 shaded areas. But you need 75, so the answer is 3. 13. This is a simple reasoning. The x-coordinate is the same as 4, 1, and the y-coordinate is the same as 2, 5. So the answer is 4, 5. 14. You need to figure out the two prime numbers first. There are only 2, 3, 5, 7, which are prime numbers under 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10, so the answer is 3 times 7 equals 2, 1. 15. 2 plus 9 plus 4 plus n plus 2n, over 5 equals 6. So, n equals 5. 16. This is a guessing game. There could be lots of guessing games in a math competition. Only 6 minus 1 equals 5, so R and S is 1 and 6. 
Now, P and Q can only be 2 and 3. Since T is larger, so it must be 5, and U is 4. 17. This is to calculate the area of the triangle. The base AE is 12, and the height, BD, is also 12, so the area is 72. 18. Firstly, you need to calculate the volume of the water, which is 2 times 5 times 6 equals 60. The greatest area of base is 8 times 5 equals 40. So the depth is 60 over 40 equals 1.5. 19. This is a permutation with repetition. Total variation is 6 times 6 equals 36. Which combinations have 0 in the ones? 2 times 5, 4 times 5, 6 times 5, or 5 times 2, 5 times 4, 5 times 6. So the answer is 6 over 36, which is D. 20. This is another guessing game. Given the question, A, can only be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. When, A, is 1, 2, 3, or 4, B, is not an integer. When A equals 5, B equals 7. When A equals 6, B equals 14. So the answer is 2. Part C, hard questions. 21. This is another guessing game. If you know the divisibility rules, 98 can be split to 2 times 49, or 7 times 14. Only 2 times 49 makes sense because 49 is the area of a square. So you know AB, BC, CD are 7, GH and FE are 2, and GF is 1. So the perimeter will be 32. 22. This is a pattern game. You need to find the pattern for the Gareth sequence. The first five numbers in the sequence are 10, 8, 2, 6, 4. The next three numbers are 2, 2, 0, and this block of three numbers repeat eight times. Now you can calculate the sum of all numbers, which is 64. 23. This is a tough guessing game. If you know the divisibility rules, 5 cannot be the one-digit integer. Otherwise it will show up in the two-digit integers. 5 can only be in the tens digit of a two-digit integer. Otherwise, it has to be in the one-digit integer. There are only two possibilities for the two-digit integer. 54 equals 6 times 9, or 56 equals 7 times 8. After some tries, only 54 equals 6 times 9 makes sense. So the dimensions of the prism are 3, 6 and 9. The areas of the faces are 18, 27, and 54. The surface area will be 198. 24. This can be simplified to a very similar question. In the six sections on the circle, there are three sections that can be placed blue, green, or yellow. The red doesn't matter, because when the other colors are determined, all other sections can be placed red. Also, you need to consider one color is in the fixed place, otherwise, it can be rotated to match the other. So the original question can be changed to a permutation without repetition, with five possibilities and two choices. The answer will be 5 times 4 equals 20. 25. This is another tough guessing game. We need to use lots of variables. Let x be the number of students that participated in hiking and canoeing, but not swimming. Let y be the number of students that participated in hiking and swimming, but not canoeing. Let Z be the number of students that participated in canoeing and swimming, but not hiking. Suppose that the total number of students participating in the school trip was N. Since 50% participated in at least hiking and canoeing, N should be divisible by 2. Because 60% participated in at least hiking and swimming, N should also be divisible by 5. So N is divisible by 10. So you can try the value of n from 10 to 100, then get each value of x, y, and z. All the possible value of k will be 90, 40, 30, 15, 10. So the answer is 185. We have just went through all the questions for the recent contest. You may try to do some previous contests by your own pace. With more practice, you can be best prepared for any math competition. Thanks for watching.